All right, um, earlier I had made this bracket to fit over my um, camera, which um, I'm using right now to record this, so I can't show you how to put it on, but uh, I did that in a previous video, and what it, this did was it allowed me to mount a wide-angle lens, or any other lens I had that would fit on this bracket, um, to the front of my camera. Um, what uh, got me thinking was that if I could find a better material that was flexible, I could have something snap on and off and not be so big bulky or not have this long piece on the bottom and I was actually going to go to the store and buy uh, plexiglass but I have this CD case I'm not using and the plastic material that the CD snaps onto seems to be the right consistency it's flexible and, and snaps back so I'm if I can mold this properly I can make this fit on the front of the camera it'll snap on but it's flexible enough that I can take it off without damaging the camera what I notice is there's already a hole here so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to mount well, I'm gonna cut this hole and I'll mount the camera or or um, heat up this plastic and wrap it around the camera so I'm gonna draw a pattern like a little square with little flaps and I'm going to cut it out and melt it and wrap it on the camera and see what happens anyway okay I've decided to use my camera phone to show you what I'm gonna do I actually took the paper from the CD insert because it's about the same size as this as this plastic piece I want to use and I cut a hole in the center and taped it where the lens would be and taped the um, paper to the camera so it doesn't move so what I can do is lay this down and draw an outline around the camera so I know how large it is and I'm gonna do that right now drawing a simple outline around the camera there we go and that's gonna allow me to um, cut a pattern out which I will be able to then use to cut out the black piece of plastic all right I've cut out the paper and the appropriate uh, holes in the paper for the uh, lights infrared the camera buttons and uh, headphone I mean headphones the microphone and so forth now if I take the paper off which I've taped a little bit I now have this pattern which I'm going to try to see if I can either cut out and shape from this CD case or I'm going to go to my local plastic store and buy a, a foot or so of thin black plexiglass for I don't know a dollar and cut it out from there now keep in mind that I have plexiglass working tools including a very 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 powerful hot air gun uh, you may be able to use a, a hair dryer for thin plastic I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and use my tools and um, also cut the um, holes out with the Dremel tool alright so as we looked at earlier I made this pattern and I was gonna cut out a piece of plastic and I cut out this piece of plastic to match that pattern using a Dremel tool so I'm gonna see what happens if I mold this using a hot air gun to the shape of the camera so that these tabs wrap around and snap on okay um, I'm back and it's not quite what I had wanted but it does prove the concept um, what I have here is, and it looks kind of ugly and deformed, uh, but it's fit pretty snugly. A piece of plastic I molded, you saw earlier. It's hard to do this with one hand, hold on a moment. This piece of plastic was molded from the inside of a CD case, and it snaps right onto the top. And very snugly by the way it fits right onto the top of a Z i8 Kodak digital camcorder and 
with this type of bracket which fits because the camera is tapered and this tapering allows a flexible plastic to snap on and not slide off the top so I don't need a brace down the front like I have in my other video uh, this would allow me to attach here a uh, lens fitting um, preferably the 13 millimeter tiny little lens so it's going to be this big and not this big um, but this kind of proves the concept that it could work now what I'm going to probably do is not use this one this was just the proof of concept that I because I had these materials lying around my house but I might go to the uh, plastic store and get maybe an eighth inch uh, black plexiglass acrylic plexiglass uh, it has a higher melting point and it'll be easier to work with this one warped easily so it was a little difficult but um, I think I'm gonna do that and try to mount the 13 millimeter lens